now we will see how to install the driver for USB ISP module that that is required to program this uh, 8 to 89 is 52 and 89 is 51 I see so I'm just going to this particular device manager although it is showing that uh, although I have already installed this power driver that's why it will be showing but uh, while it is for the first time you are plugged in and there is no hardware driver installed it, it will be showing some unknown devices so I am just showing the things how we do that update driver, visible, unstored etc so I am just doing update drivers and browse my computer for driver softwares and these driver softwares I am showing that where the driver softwares are uh, I kept it there I am showing that in the same key installation I gave that particular prog ISP prog ISP basically the uh, uh, pro, uh, computer software programming by which we can uh, program this uh, SPI microcontroller to USB ISP programmers so now if I just go inside of me we can see Windows 7 driver so we have to show this particular folder right so now just go and update drivers so browse that things uh, okay just go to the location computer c5 speed is command right drive isp windows 7 driver this is the folder target folder so now click on next so it is installed okay so it is a, if it was not primarily installed it, uh, after showing that particular folder it will automatically install the softwares Now it is showing here. So what to do? Basically, you have to just go to that directory and uh, just uh, this is basically EHC. So just take a shortcut and if you just connect it, let me connect this hardware first. So it is going and connected. So it is now connected. Open this EXC program so you can see it is two are colorful. So that means everything is basically installed properly. So we can just uh, do this particular process, then press it, etc. So now go to this file, load flash, and uh, extract this object, hex file. So I'm just loading, so after loading the buffer, takes a look like that. Okay, now if you just click on auto, it will automatically start processing all the things which take us step. So I'm clicking all these things. So you can uh, check this lock, uh, lock chip, lock chip option. You can check it in so uh, to lock your course so that nobody after programming that no one can read that particular hex file from your program. So this is for security that you are locking your code, but uh, here I am not showing that thing. If you do that uh, and uh, if you start doing programming once again in the same uh, settings, so it can create some problem. In that case you have to remove that particular programmer and reset the device. After that if you connect it, then, all, then also you can find this another code as well. Right. So it has been running properly I can see the hardware okay that's it